Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? And mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. And for this video, ito na ang pinaka-inaantay ninyo. We're going to be doing an updated list of the best skincare products that you can get in your nearest Watsons, Mercury, or even department stores near you in late 2023 to 2024. Now, the last time na ginawa natin to was 2021. That's two whole years ago. And since then, so much has changed sa mga available options natin in drugstores and department stores. And I'm very excited to be sharing with you guys the best skincare products that you can get at the most accessible prices. Kasi guys, lahat ng to will still be under 500 pesos para hindi kayo mahirapan to build an affordable and sustainable na skincare routine na mabilis ding bilhin kapag naubusan kayo. So with that being said, wala nang any-any, let us begin. Alright, so as per usual, inorganize ko na yung mga skincare products natin into our three essential categories. Starting with our first category, these are your best cleansers. So first, start muna tayo with a cleanser na very foaming because I noticed ito talaga yung favorite ng marami sa atin sa Pilipinas. Now this is from the Japanese brand Mentholatum Acnes and it's their creamy wash. And this one is for those na specifically gusto nila yung parang alasenka whip na foam if you guys are familiar with that product. As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of yung mga senka whip na foams kasi medyo mataas yung pH level ng cleansers nila and kapag ganun kasi it can be a bit drying on your skin. So if you are looking for an alternative na medyo mas gentle on your skin barrier, okay na okay. Ito. Now, as for the ingredients of this cleanser, this does have five gentle cleansing agents along with the ingredient lauric acid in which, kasama yung ibang mga ingredients in this formulation, it helps the cleanser to become very thick and creamy. Aside from that, this also does have the plant extract Centella Asiatica, also known as Sika, to help soothe the skin and a very, very small amount of salicylic acid. Now, yung amount ng salicylic acid nila dito might not be enough to exfoliate kasi sobrang konting-konti siya, pero ang function niya dito sa cleanser na to is more of anti-inflammatory and soothing na rin sa skin. Meanwhile, yung consistency and yung texture naman ng product na to, just to show you guys, this does come out as a thick green gel. Then, kapag nilather mo siya on your skin, sobrang foamy talaga nito. Super creamy and satisfying din yung foam. And then, when you wash it off, it does feel very satisfying still on the skin. Pero, hindi pa rin parang over-drying unlike other foaming cleansers. So, because of the ingredients and the formulation of this product, I would recommend it more for oily to combination skin skin types. Ako personally, favorite ko talaga to after a long day, as in kapag pawis na pawis ako, malagkit na malagkit yung face ko, after using this, super satisfying talaga. And kampante ako na hindi na over-dry yung skin barrier ko. Na price-wise naman, this is at around 250 pesos for 100 grams already. But if you do want to try it first, meron din silang smaller na 50 grams for just 145 pesos. So, satisfying both sa face and sa budget, diba? But anyway, move na tayo to our next two cleansers. And yes, two cleansers siya because this is a brand na very very accessible in fairness sa kanila gumawa sila ng iba't ibang mga options. Now from a Japanese brand, ito naman, this is a Thai brand and this is Oxicure. We have their two new generation cleansers. Now I do say new generation because merong mga older cleansers si Oxicure na release from the past few years but yung mga to, merong feedback na binigay yung skincare community. May mga hindi sila nagustuhan and so in fairness naman kay Oxicure, they did listen and nakailang revise na rin talaga sila sa mga cleansers nila, which is why we do have these cleansers today. And props naman kay Oxicure kasi na-address talaga nila yung mga problems ng skincare community sa mga previous cleansers nila. And I do personally think that these are Oxicure's best versions ng mga cleansers nila so far. So first, itong blue is their new ultra-gentle cleanser na mas pinagentle pa nila actually compared to before. Hindi na to yung humahapde for some people, unlike yung sa first version nila. And on the other hand, we have itong green na acne clear facial wash for oily acne prone skin. This is one of my favorites sa Oxicure. Now, ingredients-wise, start muna tayo with itong blue na ultra-gentle cleanser. This does have cocamida propyl betaine and sodium laurel oat amino acids. And yung ingredient na yon, it's a gentle cleansing agent na meron ding oat, which as we know is a good soothing plant ingredient. Aside from that, we also do have five ceramides, cholesterol, and squalane to help prevent dryness from cleansing the skin. As well as, yun nga, oat, gaya nga sabi natin kanina. As well as licorice and willow bark. And all of these are just plant extracts to help soothe the skin. So based on the ingredients, siguro medyo gets yun na who this cleanser is for. Definitely, it's for those na medyo sensitive or irritated yung skin nila. Whether oily or dry ka man, if you just need a cleanser that will, you know, cleanse your skin nang hindi siya na irritate or sobra-sobrang nadadry out, you can definitely benefit from this product. Meanwhile, ito namang si Acne Clear Facial Cleanser na color green. This does have three gentle cleansing agents na very suitable for oily and acne-prone skin. Plus, 1.5% salicylic acid, which 
which is the star ingredient in this product. Ngayon kasi yung nag exfoliate ng skin natin and nagtatanggal ng excess oil and yung mga skin cells na pwedeng mag-build up talaga sa pores natin which can also clog it. And also, yung salicylic acid nito could be a good supporting ingredient or parang sidekick if you are using acne medications. Also, just like yung blue cleanser, this also does have squalane and oat extract to help soothe and nourish the skin which is very helpful sa cleanser na ganito because as we know, yung salicylic acid, hindi naman lagi pero may possibility. Pwedeng maging medyo drying or irritating siya sa skin depending on your skin type or skin condition. So, yun yung nagugustuhan ko na ginawa ni Oxycure dito. They added soothing ingredients para ma-counteract yung possible side effects ni salicylic acid if ever mag-react yung skin mo dun. And that's actually also why this is one of the cleansers na gusto gusto ko talaga gamitin. This is, I think, my third or fourth bottle already. Partida gumagamit pa ako ng ibang mga salicylic acid cleansers. But I really, really like this because it's so accessible. Ang bilis niyang bilhin talaga. And actually, this is also a cleanser na parang nilagay ko na sa isa sa mga routines ko late last year. So parang one year ko na rin siya ginagamit. Compared to itong si Blue, actually, this is my first big bottle. Ang dating ginagamit ko was yung small bottle kasi dati yun palang available niya. That used to be my travel cleanser naman. And I think may kita niyo to doon sa isang video ko where I do my skincare in Portugal. Lilink ko siya sa baba if you want to see that. But anyway, moving on to the consistency of these two cleansers. They are both gel cleansers. Sa start, medyo mas cloudy lang talaga yung itsura ni Acne Clear Face Wash na color green. But both lather up very decently on the skin. Moderate lang yung pagbula nila. And then, after washing both of these off, you do get a hydrated feel na hindi madulas. But at the same time, hindi rin sobrang dry or banat yung feeling sa skin. Price-wise, you can get these full sizes for 369 pesos pero 120 ml na yun. But if you do want to try it out first, meron din silang smaller versions at just 199 pesos for 50 ml. Alright, and now moving on to the last cleansers in this category. And yes, S na naman because these cleansers are, in my opinion, the most affordable and the most accessible cleansers that you can get kapag limited yung budget mo. And I'm also proud to say this comes from a local brand. And favorite to ng marami sa mga nagsha-shopping sa Watsons, these are your Dr. Sensitive Serum Cleansers. Alam niyo guys, ito pa rin talaga yung unang-unang recommendation ko for anyone na on a budget pero naghahanap ng standard low pH face wash sa mga drugstores. Kasi talaga, the value of this down to the formulation, down to the accessibility, okay na okay talaga. And compatible siya across all skin types, mapa-oily, combination, or dry ka man. And there really is a reason kung bakit sold out yung product na to lagi, specifically itong tea tree and aloe na variant. As in, ever since ni-recommend ko to sa inyo last year, never ko na siya nakita ulit sa mga Watsons. Nakakaloka kayo. But what I do still see available is itong other serum cleanser nila, which is the Collagen Plus Vitamin C, which is honestly just as good. Nasabi ko na sa previous video to, I can interchange both of these with no problem. Similar lang talaga silang mga cleansers, both having the same five gentle cleansing agents to cleanse your skin without irritating it, and then at the same time, satisfying pa rin yung feel after you wash it off. And actually also, na-review ko na rin to last year in my best local skincare video. So kung gusto nyo ng mas in-depth na review on this product, from yung mga ingredients niya and yung feel niya on the skin, I will link that video here kung gusto mo makita. Alright, and now from our best cleansers, move naman tayo to our next category, which is our BFF when it comes to preventing irritation on our skin. We have our best moisturizers. Na as we know, iba-iba talaga ang mga kinds or types of moisturizers in the market. We have yung mga creamy moisturizers, lotions, soothing gels, gel creams, and a lot of other kinds. So para ma-address natin to, as much as possible, I will be recommending different types of moisturizers to accommodate yung iba't ibang mga kinds na merong available. And then kayo na lang pumili based on your personal preference in a moisturizer. So let's start first with some of my old favorites na na-mention ko na in some of my previous videos. Ang dami kasi yung mga bagong releases ngayon but I still do want to recognize yung mga oldies but goodies natin na ito pa rin yung some of the best and very very reliable moisturizers that you can find in Watson. Starting off with those who want a soothing gel, in my opinion, the best pa rin talaga itong si Jeju Aloe Ice 3-in-1 Niacinamide Soothing Gel Lotion. And actually, bagong version na to, yung lumang version niya was actually limited edition na BT21 which a lot of you guys already know in the skincare community. That one had 5% niacinamide pero itong bago nila, binaba na lang nila to just 3% but in my opinion, that's still a very good percentage. Meanwhile, if you don't want niacinamide in your soothing gel, get this one from Lux Organics instead. Itong Sika Soothing Gel nila, this is just a plain soothing gel na pwede mo ring gamitin as a lightweight moisturizer. Now, note lang guys, yung tub version nito has fragrance but if you get itong pouch nila, it's fragrance-free. And speaking of soothing and fragrance-free, we also do have ang pambansang favorite na budget soothing moisturizer. 
the Avino Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Now, as you guys know, this is a light cream lotion na sa sobrang light niya, even some oily skin types in our skincare community like to use it. Now, this one is best kapag gumagamit ka ng mga acne medications and you want to counteract yung possible irritation or sensitivity na side effect nila. And in general, if sensitive, irritated, or dry lang talaga yung skin type mo, you will definitely enjoy this product as well. Now, baka mapansin nyo, pinasadaanan ko lang yung mga products na to, but if you do want more in-depth reviews of both of these products, I will be linking yung full review ko on this, which was in my Best Watson's products from 2021, and I will link that here if you want to check that out. Alright, and now that we're done with our old favorites, it's now time to go to our top two moisturizers. And yes, dalawa lang sila because these are actually two brands that have a wide range of moisturizers. Some of them na release nila this year. And I think very noteworthy yon because again, gaya nga nang sabi ko kanina, ang reality is iba-iba talaga ang preferences natin when it comes to moisturizer. So, tamang-tama lang sa concern natin yon. So first, let's start with a new release from one of the top brands in Watsons and in fairness talaga to this brand, guys, release after release, nag-de-deliver talaga sila recently. And this is none other than the very popular brand Lux Organics. These are their newly released moisturizers. So, apat tong bagong release nila and yes, isa-isa ko talaga silang pinest and pinasok sa routine ko. We have the Seeker Rescue Gentle Brightening Derma Relief Moisturizer in color green, the Hyaluron White Double Collagen Hydra Cooling Moisturizer in color blue, the Power Glow Bright Revive Vitamin C in color pink, and the Retinol Plus Bakuchiol Overnight Botox Radiant Glow Lifting Moisturizer in violet. Small comment lang dito though, medyo naloka ako sa Overnight Botox na pangalan because, well, hindi ito Overnight Botox guys. Walang skincare that will give you the same results as Botox. Alam lalo na overnight Botox. So kung gusto niyo ng Botox na overnight yung effect, magpa-Botox talaga kayo. Yun lang yun. But anyway, what's really commendable about these moisturizers is yung variety of textures nila which is different per moisturizer. So depending on the consistency na gusto mo in a moisturizer, whether watery, creamy, velvet smooth, there is going to be an option for you. And also, this is a defining moment for Lux Organics because finally, after being told na sa 2020 and also 2021, na gumawa sila ng mga fragrance-free products, which actually slowly ginagawa nila, this entire line is all fragrance-free. In fairness, ang galing. Now, aside from that, maganda rin yung mga star ingredients nung iba sa mga moisturizers nila in this line. And you might think na itong dalawa yun, yung may retinol and vitamin C, but I'm actually talking about itong blue and green nila. Itong dalawa kasi, aside from the fact na gusto ko yung feel niya on my skin, they do have ingredients that specifically focus on your skin barrier health. And actually, touching on the ingredients of these products, starting with itong si Hyaluron White na color blue, this does have niacinamide, which a lot of people think brightening ingredient lang siya, pero okay na okay rin siya for our skin barrier. Aside from that, this also does have urea, which is an excellent hydrating and skin barrier nourishing ingredient. And it adds to that even more hydrating ingredients like glycerin, hyaluronic acid, panthenol, and of course, gaya nga nang sabi sa pangalan niya, collagen. Now, just to clarify sa mga hindi pa masyadong informed, as dermatologists always say, this will not increase yung collagen levels sa skin mo per se because masyadong malaki yung mga collagen molecules para mag-penetrate or pumasok sa skin natin. But collagen and moisturizers like these, pwede silang mag-hydrate ng skin natin. So, may benefit pa naman sila. Similarly, itong Seeker Rescue nila na color green, which is my personal favorite. Ito yung top one ko sa line na to. This also does have skin barrier nourishing ingredients like niacinamide, a ceramide complex with five ceramides, arginine, and gaya nga nang sabi ng pangalan, Sika or Centella Asiatica, which is also a soothing ingredient. Meanwhile, itong retinol and vitamin C kasi nila, we don't really know the percentage of retinol and vitamin C sa mga products na to, but my guess is, and educated guess to guys ha, konting-konti lang. But all of that to say, if you do want the benefits of retinol or vitamin C, I wouldn't really look at these products. More of serum yung hahanapin ko. But that's not to say na mga bad products to, I just wish nilagyan nila ng mga percentages so we would know better kung paan sila i-incorporate in our routine, especially kung may ginagamit tayong ibang mga active ingredients. And in fact, itong pink pa nila na Power Glow, I really, really like the texture of this. But anyway, ayun na nga, speaking of the texture of these products, each of these have their own unique texture, which I do want to compare from the thinnest to the thickest. Starting with itong pink and blue nila na actually medyo similar yung textures nila towards the end, which is why I do want to do a side-by-side -side of these two. Na magkaiba sila sa start, itong si Pink Power Glow 
Glow starts off as a watery gel cream, while the si Hyaluron White is more of a silky sherbet gel. But once you spread both of these onto your skin, pareho silang may burst of hydration feeling. Si Hyaluron White though feels just a little bit more hydrating, bigay nga na mas marami siyang hydrating ingredients. Nakapag iseset mo na sila, they do look a bit glowy at first kasi nga mga water-based to na mga moisturizers. But after a while, they do set to look less shiny and more natural on the skin. So just by a little, ang pinaka-lightweight is probably itong pink. So do go with this if you just want a lightweight, water-based gel cream. But if gusto mo i-up a little bit yung hydration, do go with itong blue one na si Hyaluron White. Next up, we have itong Sika Rescue which actually has its own unique texture and consistency. Now, ito medyo mas nourishing siya na gel cream which actually does look like a thick cream at first pero kapag spread mo siya onto your skin, may mafeel kang hydration, yes, but it's a bit more balanced between nourishment and hydration. And what I like about this is yung finish niya sets a bit faster giving you a non-shiny natural finish. Now, if it's a sandwich method ka or nagba-buffer method, meaning you use a layer of moisturizer before using acne medications or other strong actives, definitely this is a moisturizer I can recommend to you. Lastly, ito namang si Retinol is the creamiest of them all and it does look like your standard creamy moisturizer. Pero in fairness dito, light cream lang naman siya. It blends very fast on the skin, giving you a silky smooth, soft matte finish. Although I do have to say, sa lahat ng moisturizers na tinest ko sa line na to, ito yung ginamit ko the least. Not because hindi ko siya gusto, but because I don't know how much retinol I'm getting. So again, medyo nahirapan akong i-pair siya with the other actives or acne medications in my skincare routine. But all in all, this is still such a great effort by Lux Organics. So of course, give credit pa rin tayo where credit is due. Again, lagi ko nga sinasabi, ang maganda kay Lux Organics is they listen to the community and they always try to improve on their products. And at 349 pesos for 50 grams, definitely I would say, maganda yung value nito. Alright, and now moving on to the next brand na hindi na lang siya Watson's brand but you can also find it in Mercury and other drugstores or department stores. This brand has an even wider range of moisturizers available. And ito talaga guys, in my opinion, sila ang leading. Not just in the variety but also they're very accessible and most of the time, available sila in my experience. And these are your Eye White and Era Moisturizers. Now, sa mga curious kung bakit ko pinagsabay yung dalawang brands na to, actually, all of these moisturizers used to be under the Eye White brand. Pero si Eye White kasi gumawa siya ng bagong brand which is itong si Era and yung other moisturizers that used to be under Eye White, nilagay nila dito sa bagong brand na to. Plus, itong one new release nila. So actually, sister brands or actually parent brand pang ata si Eye White because may kita mo dito sa Era, it says Era by Eye White. But basically, both of these come from the same company. And I decided na pag-usapan yung dalawang brands na to as one because guys, kapag kinumbine mo sila, kahit anong consistency na gusto mo in a moisturizer, probably meron silang option for you. Now, if you do want a silky gel to water consistency, you can try itong Aqua Moisturizer or Aqua Moisturizer Glow nila, which give you a burst of hydration right when you spread it onto the skin and are great to use for the daytime. These are for those na oily skin and gusto nila yung watery feel ng moisturizer but at the same time, very, very lightweight. However, if you do want a gel cream type of moisturizer na mas flexible for daytime and nighttime use, they also do have itong Aqua Moisturizer Acne Plus that they also do recommend for oily and acne-prone skin types. And in my opinion, if gumagamit ka ng acne medications, this one you will like. And again, hindi ko alam kung nanonotice niyo yung pattern, pero itong gel cream nila is one of my favorites sa line na to. I really, really like gel cream moisturizers. But it doesn't mean na hindi ko gusto yung ibang moisturizers nila. Ito lang talaga yung favorite ko na bagay sa routine ko ngayon. Meanwhile, if you want something na mas powder matte yung finish and something na very light and airy lang yung feel on the skin, Era also has the Pore Blur Moisturizer and the Stellar No Oil Face Gel. Na itong dalawa, same lang yung finish nila on the skin. Ang difference lang is medyo mas fluid itong si Stellar No Oil Face Gel. And lastly, if you want something creamier but still lightweight and easily blendable on the skin, they also do have the Era All Night Repair Moisturizer and this one has 3% niacinamide. Perfect to use if meron kang retinol or retinoids or acne medications na ginagamit and you really want something more nourishing and rich to prevent irritation and dryness. But all in all, what all of these have in common is surprisingly very suitable talaga sila to Filipino skin types in particular kasi mabilis talaga sila mag-blend and hindi sila lahat mabigat on the skin. Siguro ang masasabi ko lang na con sa mga products na to is they are all fragrance but honestly, if hindi ka naman sensitive sa fragrance, wala ka naman dapat problemahin. And ako personally, after incorporating these products into my routine for, I think ito si Eye White more than a year 
na and ito si Era ilang months na. And yung routine ko, punong-puno talaga ng acne medications that potentially can irritate your skin. Ako guys, hindi naman ako na-irritate from any of these moisturizers. And in fairness naman sa brand na to, meron din naman silang options na mas subtle yung fragrance. Siguro masasabi ko yung pinaka-subtle na is itong green, kaya probably siya yung pinaka-gusto ko. Meanwhile, itong blue moisturizer ni Eye White and itong three moisturizers from the Era line, yes, meron silang significant na fragrance na maaamoy mo talaga. Pero hindi sila yung parang sobrang bothersome na masakit sa ulo. And definitely nawawala naman sila after a while. And I can definitely use these moisturizers no problem kahit meron silang fragrance. However, itong pink nila na glow, ito talaga yung may pinakamalakas and pinaka-notable na fragrance kasi amoy it ano talaga to. Parang strawberry ice cream or Dutch mill na strawberry. Ganun na ganun talaga yung amoy nito. So if sensitive ka sa ganung amoy and ayaw mo yung masyadong naglilinger na amoy, ito yung ia-avoid mo ng konti. Na price-wise naman, these are at the 300 plus pesos price range for around 50 to 80 ml of product except itong si Stellar No Oil Face Gel nila na 25 ml lang. And if you did find the moisturizer from this line na medyo interested ka and you want to know more about it, I have already made in-depth reviews of both iWhite and Era and both unsponsored reviews sila. So if you want to check those out, I will be linking them sa iBotton. Pero kung hindi sila makita sa iBotton, baka hindi na sila kumasya so I will be putting them in the description box instead. Alright, and ayun na siya for our best moisturizers and now let's move on to our final category that I'm actually most excited to talk to you guys about and favorite din to ng marami sa inyo. These are our best sunscreens. And again, I'm super excited to talk about this category kasi guys, ang dami talagang bagong lumabas this year that made it to this list and alam nyo guys, our drugstore sunscreens are really getting so much better. As in, nakakatuwa talaga. But first, let's start off with some old favorites na very reliable pa rin talaga. Of course, we can't forget number one, itong Bello Dewy Essence Sunscreen which is a moisturizing sunscreen na high protection and is water resistant. And aside from that, for those na matagal nang nanonood na mga videos ko and matagal na rin tambay sa Watsons, we also cannot forget our OG favorite na Dermaction Plus by Watsons Advanced Sun Water Drop Cream Gel. And at the time talaga na nirelease to, this was a clear standout among the other options kasi ito lang yung sunscreen no na high protection, na water resistant, na fragrance free, na ang ganda-ganda ng price point at like 300 plus. For ilang ml ulit siya? 40 ml. And yung cream gel na consistency and texture kasi talaga nito guys, this is one of the most balanced at the time and also lightweight din yung feeling na sa skin. And lastly, our third sunscreen na actually hindi ko siya mahanap kaya wala siya sa akin ngayon but I have mentioned it a lot on my previous videos. It's the Soul White Bright and Even Sunscreen. Another really really good sunscreen na cream gel yung consistency niya and blends really really fast on the skin. Again, another solid option kung mahanap niya siya. And now with those old favorites mentioned, move na tayo to our top 3 sunscreens and guys, grabe, these are all new entries this year kaya talaga sobrang sobrang excited ako to share them with you all. Starting off with the sunscreen that I recently talked about sa mga previous videos ko na sobrang sobrang nagugustuhan ko talaga and this is also your best bet if you want a fragrance free and drying alcohol free na sunscreen. This is from the brand U or YOU and it's their Sunbrella Intensive Care Aqua Sunscreen. Na kung meron tayong award na best in overall consistency, best in mabilis mag-spread or set sa skin, best in pagiging lightweight and comfortable, itong ito talaga yun guys, Hakot Award siya. Kasi talaga, ang ganda ng feeling nito on my skin. As in, I really, really like this. But first, let's start with the technicals of this sunscreen. This is an SPF 50+, plus, PA 4+, plus, high protection sunscreen that uses just two UV filters. However, yung two UV filters na to are avobenzone, which is good to protect against yung UVA rays, which is yung nakaka-age ng skin natin and yung nakaka-dark spots. And supporting avobenzone, we also do have ethyl hexyl triazone or uvinyl T150, which is an advanced UV filter that gives the highest protection against UVB rays, which is yung nakaka-sunog or sunburn ng skin natin. This is also supported by three antioxidants, namely ectoin, phenylethyl resorcinol, and ergothionine, which can help boost yung sun protection ng product na to. And hindi pa tayo doon natatapos because this has five ceramides, which can definitely help nourish, strengthen, and repair our skin barrier. Kaya talaga okay na okay to for sensitive or irritated skin types, aside from the fact na fragrance free nga to, as we mentioned a while ago. And now moving on to the texture, grabe talaga guys, this is my favorite thing about this product. So it starts off as a very light cream which easily spreads onto the skin. You do feel hydration at first but this just immediately blends onto the skin onto a finish na in the middle of natural and soft match and sobrang light and comfortable yung feeling niya after you set it on the skin. Now if you do want to see this in action na ina-apply ko siya sa face ko, 
I do use this doon sa oily skin routine na video ko. Again, ililink ko na lang siya either sa i button or sa description box if you want to see it. Now, as for the price, dahil doon actually muntik nang hindi to pumasok sa listahan na to because before, this was at 699 pesos. But so far, I've been seeing this online at just 409 pesos for 40 ml. Pwede na yung price, but for everything you're getting, especially yung comfortable feeling ng sunscreen na to, I would say it's well worth the price. So if you're looking for my number one favorite sunscreen from drugstores this 2023, it's definitely going to be this. However, meron akong runner-up na sunscreen actually to you, which was medyo close fight siya, and this actually is a new sunscreen that is a really, really good option for those na nagahanap in general ng easy-to-blend na sunscreen on the skin na comfortable yung feeling after you set it. And this is actually the first time for this brand to enter this list. In fairness sa brand na to, it's the Pons Hyaluron Sunscreen. Now, this is one of two new sunscreens na ni-release ni Pons this year. They also have itong pink one na may niacinamide. This is actually called the Gluta Niacinamide. Okay din naman to, pero itong Hyaluron talaga is definitely the more lightweight one, the more comfortable one on the skin, and it's also the fragrance-free and drying alcohol-free variant of these two. And actually, ito talaga yung mas nagustuhan ko. But going first to the technicals of this sunscreen, this is also a high-protection sunscreen at SPF 50+, PA4+, and it also does have five UV filters, namely octinoxate, tinosorb M, avobenzone, amyloxate, and octocrylene. Now, moving on to the consistency naman ng product na to, yung start niya actually reminds me of yung Bello Dewy Essence na sunscreen, pero iba siya when you spread and blend it onto your skin. When you spread it onto your skin, yung cream easily blends onto a light, slightly whipped feeling na ang bilis mag-sink into the skin. It also does leave you with a finish na non-shiny, comfortable, and very lightly hydrating lang. Now, I think this is the best for those looking for a two-in-one moisturizer and sunscreen, which is why ako personally nilalagay ko to sa gym bag ko. For skin types, combination, and even oily skin types like me can definitely enjoy this. Kapag dry skin ka, you might need a little bit of moisturizer underneath, but overall, very comfortable siya. Price-wise naman, slightly mas sulit si Pons being the bigger brand. This one comes at 449 pesos for 50 ml, and regular price niya na yun. And I definitely think na since isa nga sa mga bigger brands si Pons, that this will be more widely available. So probably easier to find din siya. And of course, win yun for us na mga consumers. Alright, and now moving on to our next sunscreen. If you're looking for value, as in yung sobrang maraming product na nasa malaking packaging na hindi lalagpas ng 500 pesos. And also, if you do want a sunscreen for your face and your body, this is the sunscreen for you. Now, this is the newest entry of one of the top Watson's brands right now. It's from the brand Quick FX, and this is their Vita sunscreen. Now, nagulat ako dito, guys, ha, because honestly, pag narinig ko talaga yung term na face and body sa mga sunscreens, usually medyo doubtful ako kasi minsan parang medyo mabigat pa rin talaga yung formulation sa face and more on pang body yung focus nila. Pero masyado ko atang in-underestimate si Quick FX because this sunscreen really delivered in my opinion as in probably one of the best face and body sunscreens na nagamit ko. Now this is an SPF 50 PA3 Plus broad spectrum sunscreen to protect us both from UVA and UVB rays. It also does have five UV filters in this formulation namely octinoxate, oxybenzone, avobenzone, titanium dioxide, and octisalate. This also does have some ingredients that benefit the skin barrier like phospholipids and niacinamide as well as other ingredients na sinusoothe naman yung skin natin like aloe, chamomile, licorice root, and allantoin. Now also, this is fragrance-free and drying alcohol-free which is a plus for sensitive or irritated skin types. Now, yes, sa ingredients list niya, makakakita ka ng ingredients like seteryl alcohol or cetyl alcohol pero hindi yun mga drying alcohols. Those are actually what you call fatty alcohols which are skin barrier nourishing alcohol ingredients and hindi sila related at all sa mga drying na alcohols like isopropyl or ethyl alcohol. Now, moving on to the texture and consistency of this product, dito talaga ako nagulat, guys. So, when you dispense the product, it actually looks like a thick cream and up until i-spread mo siya for the first few seconds, parang makapal talaga siya. But as you keep spreading it, bigla na lang siyang matutunaw and magiging clear and it easily sinks and absorbs into your skin fast, leaving you with a non-shiny natural finish. I was really so impressed with this, guys, as in ang ganda ng texture niya kahit sa mukha mo gamitin. So siguro ang challenge na lang dito is since malaking packaging siya and medyo malaki yung squeeze cap niya rito, kailangan medyo maingat ka talaga sa pag-dispense ng product pag gagamitin mo siya sa face or else medyo masasobrahan ka ng product. But all in all, this really did impress me and in my opinion, this is the best sunscreen na meron ngayon ni Quick FX 
products out of all of the sunscreens that they have right now. Not just because of the formulation, but also the value for your money. Because ito guys, 499 pesos to for 200 ml already. As in, grabe yung value non. Almost kalahati yung price per ml compared to the other sunscreens in this video. So if you do want the two in one, actually na nga two in one, parang four in one na to because you have a moisturizer, you have a body lotion, you have a face sunscreen, and a body sunscreen. So if you want all of that in one big product na hindi mo na kailangan i-refill as often kasi malaki na nga siya. In my opinion, this could be the best value na sunscreen that you can get right now in Watsons. Alright, and last but not the least, we have our most affordable sunscreen in this list. Ito yung pinakasulit and possibly the most accessible if lagi kang nasa mga malaking Watsons or SM department store. Now, this might sound a little bit familiar because na-mention ko na yung brand and yung skincare line na to earlier in this video. And it's from the brand Fresh Skin Lab this is their Jeju Aloe Ice Niacinamide Cooling Sunscreen. So this is also an SPF 50 PA4 Plus na sunscreen and it does have three UV filters, namely octinoxate, avobenzone, and oxybenzone. Aside from that, gaya nga nang sabi sa pangalan niya, this also does have niacinamide. Now it does also say sa label and sa pangalan niya na merong cooling effect yung sunscreen na to. And honestly, at first, yun talaga yung doubts ko about this sunscreen when it was first announced. Kasi minsan, nagiging irritating sa skin talaga yung cooling sensation. But at nung tinest ko to, I actually didn't feel that much of a cooling sensation. So sabi ko, okay, kung yun na yung cooling sensation yung nafe-feel ko sa skin ko ngayon, then okay na ako sa kanya. Siguro, I would just watch out for this if medyo sensitive talaga yung skin mo or mabilis mamula, mag-react, or humakde. Now, moving on to the consistency of this product, this does start off as a gel cream. And when you spread it onto the skin, you do get that burst of hydration. And the more you spread it, nagiging invisible siya. And it does become lighter and lighter, giving you a finish na natural lang on the skin. Skin, but nonetheless, very comfortable and breathable din siya. So this is definitely an option for those who want to use a lightweight two-in-one moisturizer and sunscreen in the morning, especially if combination skin ka. One thing lang doon na masasabi ko about this product, aside from yung cooling sensation for sensitive skin, this does also have fragrance. Though, hindi naman siya super distracting sa akin, medyo may maaamoy ka talaga sa product na to. In my experience though, medyo nawala naman siya, hindi naman siya masyadong naglilinger. In my mind, siguro yun na lang yung trade-off niya for its affordable price because this is just at 349 pesos for 50 ml of product already. So it's definitely the cheapest one out of them all. Meron pa siyang sachet version for I think around 90 to 100 pesos. And if hindi ka naman sensitive sa fragrance, then lucky for you, you can save a little bit with this sunscreen. That is, if mahanap mo siya, actually yun din pala yung isang con neto, hindi pa siya widely available. Minsan meron siya sa mga Watsons, minsan wala. And even online, minsan meron and minsan wala. But I will try my best to look for the shop link for this online para again, hindi na kayo mahirapang hanapin yung legit store nito. Alright, and ayun na siya guys, our best drugstore skincare options for late 2023 to 2024. So much has changed sa mga available options natin. Grabe talaga. And actually guys, wala pa rito yung mga best serums in Watsons na in fairness ha, pa-improve din ang pa-improve. So if you want me to make a video on that as well, definitely let me know in the comments and who knows, baka this year, ihabol ko siya. But anyway, I do hope this video helped you pick out an affordable skincare routine and a very accessible din because nasa ni Rest Mercury or Watsons or department store lang naman siya. And also, if you do have other skincare concerns, I will be leaving some videos that might be of help to you here. And also guys, thank you so much for watching this video and as usual, I will see you in the next one. Bye!